everyone and welcome to my annual Christmas special. I'm so excited to have you all here, uh, so excited to hear where you're watching from, what you're going to be cooking for Christmas, all those sorts of things. Um, I just get so excited this time of year. I love it. I love menu planning. I love the food. I love, you know, family time, all of those, all of that great stuff. Uh, so I have a massive show lined up for you guys today. I'm going to be joined by my mum a little bit later. We have a really cool menu to get through. So uh, we're going to be doing a glazed mango cherry ham, uh, one of my family favourites. Uh, my mom is going to be coming on to do a spicy corn salad. So it's a Thai style som tam salad but made with corn and a little bit of carrot and it's all spicy and zippy and yummy. And then we're also doing prawn and pork egg nets. So Woo, we've got a lot to get through guys um, and we're live so make sure you tell me if things are burning one make sure you ask any questions that you might have um, even if I don't get to them during the live I'll try and come back and answer the questions after the show uh, and giveaways so it's Christmas time let's give some stuff away um, I'm gonna be giving away lots of stuff throughout the show um, some of those things you might need to wait till the end of the show before you hear whether you've won so stick around uh, the very first giveaway we're gonna do is and I know a lot of you have been asking about my cookbook so I have two cookbooks they're both sold out um, I am digging into my own personal stash of cookbooks to give away for you guys. So five people are going to get a cookbook that you can't buy anywhere else, um, signed by me, and anywhere in the world, so anywhere, wherever you are, I want you to write down what it is that you are making for Christmas this year in the comments. I'm gonna come back, have a look at them all, and announce um, five winners at the end of the show. So write down your comments, write as many times as you want, uh, and hopefully you can win one of these at the end of the show. I love this book, it was my very first one. It's got like little stories, um, you know, from when I was little, from, um, you know, from my mum's kitchen, from my mum's village, um, lots of fun stuff in there. So anyway, that's our first giveaway, um, but let's get down to doing some cooking. Uh, and I might just, I'll just check and see if we've got anyone joining us first, so I can say hello to you guys. Um, let's have a look. All right, so let's see, we've got, oh, Tara's making pavlova, awesome, love that. Dominique is joining us from New Jersey. Hi, Dominique. Um, Jamie is having prime rib, you lucky guy, yum. All of that sounds really good. Okay, so um, if you watched my IG stories yesterday, you would know that we got started on our Christmas ham early. So this is the ham that I got marinating yesterday. Open that up. Now, if you want the, uh, all the recipes for everything we're doing today, will go up on my website after the show. Um, but you can go back to my IG stories today and still watch how I made this one um, over there. So uh, the marinade is like, so it kind of adds this really awesome punch of flavor underneath the glaze of the ham. It's got like, it's tangy, it's got whiskey in it, it's got chili, it's got, a whole bunch of things in there that makes everything super tasty. So, um, but it's done its work. So it's been in the fridge overnight. Oh, and the IG stories also tells you how to prepare the ham. Um, I took the skin off uh, and scored the ham before I put the marinade on. So um, the marinade needs to come off. We don't need this anymore. It's done its job. I'm just gonna wipe that off. It's so lovely that it's actually Christmas colors, this marinade. <laughs> it's a very festive marinade, this one. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off. And I'm gonna transfer this onto my roasting tray to get ready to cook. Now, um, I am not a fan of washing up. You guys will know that from, or from watching a lot of my videos. So whenever possible, I put foil on baking trays, on everything underneath the roasting rack here. I have some foil. That means that I don't have to deal with, you know, scrubbing a tray later on after I've, you know, had my Christmas lunch. So I'm gonna get rid of this first of all. And now the glaze, super simple. Um, I'm gonna get my pan heating up. And 
And I, so basically the glaze um, for me consists of a few different things. I want something that's very sweet and is going to make the glaze shiny. So that usually means for me a jam or a conserve. So I'm doing a cherry conserve today. So, and that's a nice chunky one. So I'm gonna, I want really nice big chunks of cherry on my ham when it's done. And then I've got some mango juice. So that's gonna go in there. And then this is like my little um, secret weapon for um, my ham glaze this year. This is a new addition to my ham glaze this year. Um, and it is Japanese tonkatsu sauce. It's Japanese barbecue sauce. Well, very similar to like a barbecue sauce flavor. Um, so if you can't get the Japanese tonkatsu version, um, which you can get from Asian grocers, uh, use your favorite barbecue sauce. But I really like the extra sort of extra flavor that this adds to the glaze. I just want to get that melting. So while that is melting and cooking and simmering, I'm going to have a look see oh so many people watching from all over the world hey guys thank you um, so we've got Gerda making roast duck German potato dumplings and red cabbage pavlova for dessert that sounds amazing um, let's see if we've got any questions so far no one with questions yet so if you've just joined us the reason why everyone's typing in what they're making for Christmas is that you have the chance of winning one of my cookbooks if you uh, write down what it is that you're having for Christmas. So I've got five cookbooks to give away, um, so that's why everyone's doing that if you're just joining us. And uh, we are getting on to doing our ham. So um, let's get this over here. And I'll just, you know, in a perfect world, you would wait for this to sort of simmer down and thicken up a little bit, but we'll... Oh, yeah, that's going. Um, now, the other thing we need to do is uh, put some cloves on our ham. So, you can sort of see here, yesterday when we did this, uh, I scored the ham in a nice sort of diamond shape all over. And what we want to do is take one of these cloves and we want to sort of just poke it in there right in the center of the diamond shape. Now this does two things. The cloves flavor the ham, but they also keep each square of fat in place as it's cooking. Um, because the fat does render down a little bit and you don't want your little pieces of lovely burnished um, glazed fat sort of running around all over the place. So that will keep everything in place. So while I'm doing this, I have another very exciting thing to gift to you guys and that is that we are offering anyone in the US a 20% discount on my Amazon store. So if you would like to buy any of my new chili sauces, my coconut chili sauces, my marinades, my meal kits, and you're in the US, all you need to do after the show is head to my website, sign up for my newsletter, and we will send you a discount code for 20%. So there you go. Uh, so, the, so the deal there is head to my website, scroll down to the bottom, you can um, sign up for my newsletter, and we will send you a discount code. All right, so keep going along, pushing these in. That's looking good. Now I might get a very special person to come and help me do this. Now you guys that have been joining my Facebook um, videos, my YouTube, my Instagram would know that there's a very special person who <laughs> likes to drink a lot of red wine and um, she has her own gifts now. Do you call them gifts or gifs? Are they, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, so she has her own. <laughs> set of, of internet gifts. Um, you guys can download them if you want and use them. They're pretty fun. Uh, anyway, she needs no introduction. Come on, mum. Come over here. Let's do some cooking. <laughs> so my mother... So are you gonna, are you gonna do the catchphrase? <laughs> now let's cooking! <laughs> um, so can you help me do this, mum? So I want, can you help me poke these things in here yes. for me? And while you do that, I will see who who else we've got saying hello to us on our on our page. 
let's see, stir the glaze as well while I'm doing that. Um, so we've got Lacrosse uh, Stephanie saying, I saw your roasted sticky chili and ginger chicken video yesterday and that's what I'm cooking for Christmas. Awesome. That's a very good recipe to be doing. Lovely. Um, Minion is saying, I just made your pad thai from your kit and it was fabulous. Well, that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. Um, now, if anyone has any questions about what we're doing so far, uh, Samantha's saying yum, cherry and mango. And that's actually one thing. You guys can mix up the fruits. So I often will do like a peach jam with a mango juice or like a cherry and peach kind of thing or an apricot and pineapple situation. Like it's just endless, the different combinations. But um, you guys can choose that. Oh, look, Mum, we look like look like we're ready to go here. So, um, what we need to do is get our wonderful glaze here and start brushing that all over the ham. So, there's two ways to sort of tackle the ham. This is um, this is a cooked, already cooked and smoked ham. So it's already cooked through. What we're doing is just adding some flavour, aren't yeah. we, with the glaze? Yeah. Um, and sometimes we just do the glaze. We don't do glaze. a marinade. No, no marinade, just yeah. the glaze. Uh, which you can do, and we did a really good one last year. We did char seal ham, yes. char seal glazed ham. Yes. That was a good one. And that was okay. just a glaze. Yes. But I really do like this um, marinade option because the marinade does add an extra dimension mm -hmm. of flavour. And I probably do have to mention that it was my husband's idea to do this marinating, which I was very skeptical about, yeah. uh -huh. weren't we? Yes. What, do you, what do you think? Did you, the son-in-law do a good job? Yeah. When he did his he did yeah, he did a good <laughs> job, yeah. So it was the son-in-law that came up with the marinade idea. Yes. Um, yes. Anyway, so we, uh, we're happy to take advice from the son-in-law of my husband sometimes, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this needs to get in the oven. You want to put this in the oven for about an hour and you want to keep mm -hmm getting it out and glazing it, give it some love like every 15 minutes or so and then um, you will end up with something really super delicious. I have a ham man who's going to come on and take this and put it in the oven for me. You might also know him as one of our camera guys throughout the year. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you. Niamh, you look after that. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> our ham man for the day. Anyway, let's do your recipe. Oh. So, I need some glass bowl. You need no, yeah, isn't your stuff over here? No, no, the glass bowl. Oh, you need the big glass bowl. Oh, uh, yep, my baby. Okay, Nia, can you yep. pass us that big glass, the one that you've got in your hand? Thank you. Live television, live, live Facebook. That's what it's all about. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what else do you need, Mum? Got this. Pistol. Yeah. Pistol. Got this. So we are making a som thumb style salad, yeah. but we're doing it with corn and carrot and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so why don't you why don't you let us know how we start off doing your, your the som thumb side of things? Yeah, we uh, first we do the garlic. Okay. Yeah. Garlic. And so, do you, what what can you do if you don't have one of these? Uh, you can do it in a plastic bag. Yeah. Uh, that the, the seal one, yeah. seal plastic bag, and and you can do that. So you same. so you put everything in the plastic bag. Yes, and, and you then make you get a rolling pin or something, and you. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Now. So this is the traditional way to do it, but plastic bag is an option. Yes, I just take the skin uh, of the. Uh, okay. uh, so guys, just a reminder about our Amazon offer. Um, if you're in the US, just sign up. Head to my website after the show. Down the bottom, you can sign up to my newsletter um, and we will send you a 20% off code. You can only use it once, but you can use it anyway up until, any time up until the end of December. So a bunch of time there. Oh, I need that. some lamb too. Oh, oh, some oh lamb um, ham man. <laughs> can we have some limes as just well, in please? The, in the tree, <laughs> Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. oh, Very forgetful today, Mum. Mm. It's all right, I'll cut it for you. Okay. So I'll get, uh, let me find the knife. Um, here we go. All right, so so you've just done the garlic. Garlic and uh, what now else do you need uh, chili. Okay. I got, uh, I got three small chili and a big long chili. Put in here all together, and you pile it up. So why have you why have you got the two different ones, Mum? Because uh, different flavour. Yeah. 
uh, more like a uh, small one, little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. It's not, but the big one, the big chili is nice flavor too, yeah. and hot too. So you make both. It's just <coughs> oh, see, I can I can already smell the spice, but the big ones give the nice color, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so chili, garlic. What else? <coughs> <coughs> oh, that chili fume today. Ah. So what are we looking for in Yeah, we look like a roughly, roughly pound, yeah. Now we do the uh, snake bean, snake bean, mm -hmm. just one snake bean. <coughs> so snake beans are those big long green long beans. Long beans, yeah, long green beans. They have like a rough, so think, what could you use if you can't find the proper snake bean? You can use like a bean, normal bean. Like just green beans. Green, green bean, yes. yes. Okay, great. Yes. Pound, just roughly. Okay. Okay, so while you're doing that, Mum, I might run through the next giveaway that we have so many giveaways today. Okay, so if you're just joining us, the first giveaway is the cookbook. So just write down what it is that you're having for Christmas and we'll pick out five great options <coughs> Ooh, at the end of the show. <coughs> so much chili. Two is sign up for my newsletter and you can get an Amazon code if you're in the USA. Three, <coughs> oh, thank you, ham man. <laughs> Three, the third prize pack is, now I'm going to show everyone over here. So, <coughs> we have just released all of these little sauces. So, we've got um, coconut chili sauces, my coconut sriracha, uh, my coconut sweet chili, sweet chili. I've got Asian Steakhouse marinades. Um, now, if you would like to win one of these and you're in the US, um, just simply tell me where you're watching from. Tell me what city you're watching from and um, we'll pick some random winners at the end of the show to win some of these prize packs as well. All right, keep going. Let's go, Mum. So, now, now is, uh, we do some... Sugar. So you want some palm sugar? Oh, peanut. Yeah. Oh, peanut. Oh, peanuts. Where are the peanuts? I'm not in here. <laughs> <coughs> I miss some. I go get some. Yeah, I think we'll go find some peanuts. So I'll keep, I'll keep pounding this. So oh, the idea here it. is that we're making kind of like we're bruising the ingredients and we're making um, the salad dressing. So we have palm sugar, and then we also want some fish sauce as well. And you'll see that the it's fish sauce yeah. and the palm sugar yeah. will Thank dissolve you. together to make a really great, tasty dressing. Can you guys see that in there? Oh, it's smelling really good too. Okay, I'm going to add in little cherry tomatoes. So this is a very traditional part of som tham. Yes. Yeah. Now, so these are the, all the traditional ingredients. Oh yeah, already. And then you now, want to add the peanuts. Now I have to put back in here. Oh, you want to corn, put that in corn. here? Corn. Okay, so we've got the corn goes in. Yep. And some carrot. Yes. And then you want this one as well? Yes. The uh, lamb cheese here already. Yep, okay, lime juice in here. Yep, and peanut later. Great. Oh, I love the smell of this salad, Mum. So good. Yeah. So this is a great one for yep. Christmas. So for how many this one? Yep, so it's Four. two, one, no, one and a half. One and a half, yes, yep. one. Just pour into the... So pour that into here? Yep. So this salad is an awesome salad to have with like, you can have it with roast chicken, roast turkey. We're just gonna have it with our ham today. Yeah. Um, but it's a really good crowd pleasing sort of one. You and could like use less chilies as well. Oh, you pound. wanna pound that in yeah. here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta do what the boss says. <laughs> Gotta do what the boss says. <laughs> that powdery, roughly pound, not, okay. not, not, don't have to be. Okay, roughly, roughly pound. Yeah. Okay, so while we're doing that, let's announce some cookbook winners. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly flick through um, and let's see. So we have, um, okay, so Chachi RG is cooking Puerto Rican food, pork shoulder, rice with ham, green beans, pasteles, I don't think I said that, macaroni salad, tuna, green salad, flan, and tembalik. Holy cow, that sounds amazing. Okay, Chachi, IG, you have won a cookbook. Thank you very much for telling us what you're having. Let's see who else is here. We have Mary Williams, 
who is going to be having ham, mashed potatoes, lasagna, stuffing, ravioli, mac and cheese. There you yes, go. Okay. Cookbook winner number two. Okay, let's see if we can get a third. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, okay, Carleen Gray is having ribeyes, T-bones, baked potato and Caesar salad. Cookbook number three. Two more to go, guys. Okay, keep writing down what you're having for Christmas. You've got two more to go. Uh, let's see. We've got Cheryl Galen Ingerberg. I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Um, is going to be having turkey dinner with sticky toffee pudding for dessert. <laughs> cookbook number four. Okay, final cookbook coming up. Let's see. Final cookbook. Um, Carol Walter is going to be having local Hunter River prawns, oh, maybe ham and salad on yes. the beach at Redhead in right. New South Wales. That is and cookbook good. number five. Cookbooks yes. all gone, guys. Thank you very much. Thank all done with all the cookbooks. Good. Okay, good. congratulations, yeah. winners. Okay. Now, we're going to mix that up and then your salad will be ready, won't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, these spoons, all right. Just, just mix it up. Okay, so I've just had a little note from um, my ham man over there and he has said that our lovely marketing team has said we will send sauces and marinades anywhere. So, a bit more peanuts. So, yeah, put as many as you want, Mum. Yeah, so, um, your prize um, will announce five of those at the end of the show um, and just tell us where you're watching from. Tell us where you're watching from anywhere in the world and we will send you out some sauces and marinades. Thank you, marketing team and ham man for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so do you want to we'll pour that out onto the yeah, plate? Yeah. And I will get my next dish ready. Oh my God, so many dishes today, guys. That looks so good, Mum. I'm going to pinch a piece. Mmm. So, what you get with a salad is so great. It's like tangy, just a little bit spicy. You got a little bit of that garlic and the lime juice. Mmm, so good. Okay, now I'm just going to remind ham man over there to glaze the ham. You're going to do some glaze. Yeah, he's going to do some glazing. All right, good. Thank you. <laughs> well, do you want to stay? You can stay and cook with me. <laughs> I am going to make some eggnets. Eggnets, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I really like this one because. It's a really, it looks really impressive, um, but it's a really, really simple thing to do. So while I am doing, where did I, oh, eggs are here. Can you crack three or four, uh, four eggs in there? Four okay. eggs? Yep. And just give that a whisk. Just crack a bit in Yeah, just crack it straight in there. And then... And uh, beat it? Yep, yes please. Okay, so this is a really great entertaining one. You can make and assemble everything that we're going to be doing. Um, can we show the photo of the finished How dish much? again? Um, it's going to be, so you'll see there's little egg nets with a really lovely pork and prawn filling. You can make that whole thing ahead of time, put it in the fridge and then just before you serve it, just sort of pop them in the oven and warm them through. So really easy way to do that. I want a little bit of oil. And we're going to make the little egg nets first. Uh, so you've got tray to put in? Yep. Oh, the tray's just there. Okay, so if you're just joining us guys, we have a ham in the oven, a mango cherry glazed ham in the oven. We have made mum's spicy corn salad. And now we are about to make prawn and pork egg nets. So, okay. Now what we need to do here is get a little bit messy. I've just wiped my pan with a little bit of oil and I just want to take my fingers like this and we just sort of do this sort of action. It looks a bit weird to start with. It'll get there, it'll get there in the end, guys. Just be all Jackson Pollock about the whole thing. So we get that. Just with your fingers. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. I like little cute ones. I'm gonna roll them into like a, a sort of 
um, envelope style parcel. Um, thanks, Mum. Do you want to hand you that? No. Yeah. Okay, now just let that cook. We're only going to let it cook on one side. Just let that firm up. Okay, and when you can see that it's starting to get, see how it's starting to lift off on the sides here? That means that we're getting, we're getting there. Okay, now, have you got that tray ready, Mum? Now see how you can just get your spatula and lift everything off under here? There we go. And then that comes off onto a tray and we're ready to make the next one. So we do this. Okay, don't forget guys, let me know where you're watching from and we will be picking five winners to receive our new chili coconut sauces and Asian steakhouse marinades at the end of the video. We have people watching from all over, don't we, Mum? Oh, yeah. New Zealand, <laughs> yeah. Europe, Europe um, yeah. the US, Australia. It's very good. We love hearing from all of you, and we'd like and we'd love to thank you actually for watching our videos throughout the year. Yes. You. Okay. <laughs> Mum is now getting selfies in the street. Can you believe it? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I might just do one more of these, and then we'll do our filling. So you can see it really doesn't take that much time at all. You can kind of get all of these done, you know, the day before or whatever. Are you bossing me again? <laughs> <laughs> the the wonderful thing about having your mom in the kitchen is that you haven't you you boss in the kitchen. You're the kitchen boss, are you? <laughs> okay. Yours actually probably would look better, wouldn't they? <laughs> mum's you look beautiful. The mum's they one look always better. looks look better. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the filling, and the filling's super easy. I will put this over here so I don't burn anyone. Oh, okay, come on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little bit of oil in the pan. I can take that away. We're done with that one. And this is a pork and prawn filling. So you guys could do all pork if you wanted to. You could do all chicken if you wanted to. Um, those, both of those work well. I like the pork and prawn mixture. Um, it's a very Asian thing to do to mix proteins. So if you're just joining us, guys, we are now making prawn and pork egg nets. Um, a lovely little sort of appetizer or party food snack that you guys can make over the holidays. Okay, and I just want to stir fry this. Oops. It's always and a little escapey just there. Okay. How are we looking, Mum? Looking good. Oh, is, is, yeah. All right. Can yes. you do this for me, and I will have a look at what we have. Who's having a chat to us on here? Um, okay, we have lots of people um, saying hello. Rick Roy, Rick Roy saying, "Love your recipe, Marion. Your mum is awesome." Hi. Hello. Hi. Say hi, Rick. That's Ricky. Hi, hi Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Oh, he's watching there. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> hi, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> um, Janaki Lorraine Caldera is asking, can you use regular sugar instead of palm sugar? And that's a super awesome question. So whenever palm sugar is called yeah. for in a recipe, you can do half brown, half white, and you'll okay. get a fairly similar that's result. Ready? Okay, ready. Okay, fish sauce. So this is just cooked, the prawn and the pork. And we want a little bit of white pepper as well. Mm -hmm. a white pepper. Oh, we forgot the garlic and the shallot, so we'll put that in. Those ones should have gone in at the beginning, guys. Let's pretend that they went in at the beginning. The garlic shallots first, then do the, the prawn and the pork. But anyway, 
That was your fault. <laughs> I'm totally blaming you. <laughs> no, that was totally my fault. Totally yeah, my fault. Look okay. Um, now I also want to sprinkle turn down in. A bit, yeah, turn it down a little bit if you want, Mum. Probably a little bit too hot. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now that is looking really good. Yep. I'm going to throw in a little bit of cornstarch so I can thicken everything up because I don't want there to be too much like juice running out of the egg nets. Yep. Um, now I'm going to add good. some sweet chilli sauce. So guys, this is my Marion's original sweet chilli sauce. Now when I created my range of chilli sauces, and I just thought I'd give you a little bit more info about this, um, you know, it's all, it was always a dream of mine to create a really awesome chilli yeah, sauce yeah. range. Um, and it took two years to do it uh, because I'm committed to making everything all natural. All of my products are all natural. So it means that I have to go out and find the best chilli. I have to go out and find the best coconut milk, the best, you know, all those things because there's no cheating when it comes to my products. Um, this sweet chilli is tangier than your regular one. I don't like an overly sweet one. It has a lot of nice like garlic flavour. Uh, so that's why I'm loving this one at the moment. And don't forget, you guys can win one of these. Um, just tell us where you are watching from. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to put in some coriander and some smell spring good. onion. It does smell good. That smell good. Who, whose dish is it? Mine or yours? Yes, mine. <laughs> oh, it's yours because it smells good, is it? Okay. Oh, it does actually smell really good. And you know, like, that. just that I could literally eat just a bowl uh, of this on its own. Oh, chilli, not yet. Mm, no. You put chilli on the end. Yeah, okay. okay, so what? be good now. Let's try it out. Oh, that tastes really good. Tastes good. I'll just put this over here. We're making quite the mess, Mum. Okay, so let's just clear this away. I'm going to get out a little... Okay, so to serve this up, guys, what you want to do is grab a hold of... And see, your egg nets are fairly robust. They're, you know, just be a little bit gentle with them. Uh, now I want a spoon. Now, ideally, you would wait for this to cool down, but I'm sure you guys don't want to watch paint dry, so we won't do that. But let this cool down first, and then pop it into your egg net. Mm -hmm. Just after that we do this, guys, good. we'll announce the sauce. That look good. It does look good, doesn't Smell it? Thanks, good thanks Mum. Um, we will announce the winners of the sauce and marinade prize pack. So just be patient and we will get to doing that in just a minute. Okay, now roll everything over and then you've got yourself a beautiful little parcel there. And what I like to do is just put a little bit of coriander and just a little chilli on the top. How are we looking, Mum? Looking good. Ah, oh, thank smell you. Smell good. Does Look smell good. good. <laughs> that smell, the sauce. Do you reckon we should save one of these for Dad? Dad is watching from home, by the way. Um, probably with little Charlie. Um, so my, my baby girl, Charlie, is named after my dad, um, whose name is Charlie, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's about her nap time at the moment, so she is at home with Grandpa. Okay, that's and um, see, look how pretty that is. Yes. So pretty. Yes. Now, you could make smaller ones so they're bite sized so if you're going to do it for like party finger food kind of thing. Mm. I think it's quite nice as an appetizer because then people can use a knife and fork and it doesn't get so messy. Um, but up to you guys. So we'll fold that over. Beautiful. So remember, guys, last chance. We're going to be announcing the winners of the sauce and marinade prize pack shortly. So just let us know where you're watching from and we will pick out a winner in just a minute. Okay, so there we go. That's our beautiful little pork and prawn egg nets. Have a little look at that. Um, and let's have a look and see who is going to be winning our prize packs. Okay, so Straight away, we have Leanne Mama Bear Pashi, Patchy. Anyway, from Rockhampton, Queensland, you have just won a sauce marinade prize pack. Yay! Okay, uh, let's see. That's we good. have Sha Tate watching from Ken's, Kennesaw GA. Anyway, I pronounced all of that wrong, but Sha, you have won a sauce and marinade prize pack. That's two. Okay, we need three more. Let's see. 
just walking. So we have, oh, we have Jody Atta. Um, she is watching from Carlisle, Pennsylvania. You have also won a sauce and marinade prize pack. Good. That is good, yeah, isn't it? That's, that's three. Um, we have. Marie, watching from Tokyo in Japan, you have just won a sauce and marinade pie pack. Yeah, How fun too. is that? Yeah, okay, that's number four. Good. Is that four? Is that four? Can someone remind me? Four? Not Was sure. that three? Four. Okay, one more to go, one four. more to go. Okay, we have um, Jesse Colburn watching from Nova Scotia, Canada. That is number five, and that is all the prizes we have. Oh, oh, okay. Marketing department just said five more. Okay, so five more people, guys. Um, just be commenting now. Where are you watching from? Okay, we have Marguerite watching from Beechworth in Victoria. That's Victoria, the, yeah. Another one. Okay, you have won a prize pack. Okay, Victoria. Stephanie Brisbane is watching from Michigan. Brisbane, yeah. Number two, we have three Brisbane. more to go. Okay, watching. where are you watching from, guys? Um, tell me where you're watching from so you can win. We have Melissa watching from New York. Oh, Melissa, New York. Melissa Giesen. <laughs> Giesen. Sorry, I probably pronounced that wrong. That is number three. Okay, uh, we need a number four. We have Daryl Bell watching from Springmount in Victoria. You have also oh, won a sauce and marinade prize pack. And let's see, we also have, um, I'll just do a flick through, and where are we going to land? We are going to land on Debbie Salfatali. Why do I pick the hard names? I'm so sorry, I've pronounced your name wrong too. Debbie <laughs> Salfatali Lamauta. Anyway, aloha from Alaska. You have oh, also won. Aloha from Alaska. That's it. Hey, that's it. Right. Right. Okay, yeah. so, um, I'm going to get everyone over here from my team in here to say <laughs> Merry Christmas to all of you. We love you guys Merry coming you to guys. watch um, and, and join in with our videos every week throughout the whole year. Um, oh, hey, wait, we've got the ham. Where's the ham? Oh, that's the ham. We're going to have the ham. Oh, the ham. Gonna have, gonna have the ham. But where the ham go? Where the oh, ham? Thank you, ham man. <laughs> all right. So this is the ham that you will end up with if you have a lovely ham man like I have who has been glazing it in the oven. Um, so uh, from all of us here at Marion's Kitchen, thanks for joining us uh, and let's go. One, Merry two, Christmas. three. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Mama. Thank you. Ooh, look at the ham. Looks good. Looks good. Look at the ham.